What's going on guys? Did you miss me? So uh, you're probably wondering why this guy show up on my subscriptions if you're one of the couple hundred people that are following me, but uh, I haven't shown up in a while because I haven't been making videos, but we're gonna change that today. We're going on an adventure. Let's hook up the trailer and hit the road. So if you were an existing subscriber, I just want to say thank you. Uh, thanks for not dumping me when I disappeared for a while. My last video was pre-COVID. So yeah, if you are a subscriber, then you know that um, uh, my videos are all over the place. Some of them are reviews, some of them are just things I like. That's kind of what I'm trying to do is just share things that I enjoy, things that get me going. So. Uh, the last video that I shot, I was leaving our house in town. Uh, nice little house, well, big house, two-story house. Um, but we, this fall in May, bought my grandparents' property on five acres outside of town. And uh, just trying to figure out ways that we can have some fun with it and work on it and get things done around there. And I happened upon and I had a deal for a tractor that we're gonna go check out, although I don't know that I'll video um, while I'm talking to the guy and checking it over. I'm sorry if you like that kind of thing. That's just, uh, I'm not that comfortable with my YouTube uh, role, I guess. So uh, if we make a deal on it, then you will uh, get to see the tractor afterwards. We'll, we'll give her a little run around and see if we can't uh, cause some chaos with it. If I don't, then you'll probably never see this video and it won't matter because that means I won't have broken a promise to you. So, nice day for a drive. did it we got a tractor folks look at that beauty so uh, let me flip the camera around and we'll give you a little tour and a little information what I do know about it so on the phone the guy said 1948 I don't know if that's correct or not uh, everything I could find on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet um, most of these are made in the late 50s, but that's okay. It's an Alice Chalmers D14. Uh, did it originally have a trip bucket, which I don't know a whole lot about tractors. This is my first tractor. My first time driving one was test driving it at the uh, guy's place where I bought it. But it used to just basically, you'd trip the thing and the bucket would just dump over when you had it lifted up. So it had a full hydraulic, active hydraulic conversion. So now the bucket goes up and down, or tips, tilts with uh, hydraulics instead of just flipping so they added a new reservoir here and a uh, new seat it's got a new alternator on the other side it needs a little adjustment but this bucket i was told by the guy i bought it from is overkill obviously i'm not going to be able to fill that all the way with anything real heavy so brand new alternator got a little bit of a gas leak here at the sediment trap which I think I got a quick fix for that. I'm gonna give that a go here in a little bit. I think it's time for a cold start. Okay. Ooh, let's see. Okay. Clutch in. Out of gear. Switch in. Don't need that much throttle. Fire it up.
tractor. so much fun I forgot about you guys. guys I recorded an intro for this video but I was looking through all my footage so that I could kind of get an idea how I was gonna start my edit and I had a lovely picture of myself as I thought I was starting to record and a lovely picture of myself as I thought I was ending the recording so you get me another wardrobe change sitting in my garage so yeah that's uh, Alice Chalmers D14 I wish I would have recorded more. I ended up uh, on the sucker for quite a while. My son came out, did some cleanup of some of the uh, down branches and things like that. So nice little machine. It's got a few little quirks and a few little things to fix, but I think the price was right. So one thing I did want to show you, this is pretty cool. Also came with a shop manual. I was looking to see if there was a year somewhere on here. Didn't see one, but this will come in quite handy, I'm sure. I do have power steering on mine. Ah, one thing I didn't, one thing I went over with you guys was the uh, attachment system on the back. It does have PTO. So it's got an Alice Chalmers kind of proprietary connection system. It's not a three-point uh, hookup. You might be familiar with it. You've heard some things about tractors. Um, it's called a snap coupler. So it's similar, a little bit different. You can get a conversion. So as I have the tractor a little bit longer, decide to start doing some more stuff with it, we may look into that. Um, but I just wanted to kind of close the video out. I keep looking at my viewfinder. I'm sorry, I'm out of practice. Can you tell?
anyway uh so yeah i'm looking forward to getting to know that machine a little bit better i've spent a lot of time on her today and uh, i think she's gonna do just fine so we bought my grandparents property this spring not the fall like i said before and uh my uncle had had those had two ice shacks sitting here and said he was going to take them and didn't get around to it yet so i thought well, what a perfect opportunity to see what the tractor can do and uh got those on the trailer one at a time because they wouldn't both fit of course and uh, got those back to his house and then played around did some brush cleanup so uh thank you for watching if you've watched this far you are truly a dedicated uh fan i don't know if fan's the right word if you're a follower or if you're just one of my friends on social media that happened to um decide to click now my garage is a mess but i'll show you if you are into things with motors we do have this is what else we bought this spring uh that's a work in progress there i started fixing some stuff the bags on the uh motor right now because i somehow managed to misplace the fill plug got one coming but uh so my knowledge with the plow and uh i've driven some forklift for a while i think that comes in handy with the um that comes in handy with the uh, tractor a little bit so uh yeah, it, uh, learning curve, I guess if you've never ever driven a tractor, never driven any kind of piece of machinery that has some hydraulics and has some quirks and has uh, some things a little different about it than driving a car, you might find it a little more difficult. But uh, again, this isn't a review. I'm just sharing the joy of the tractor. So I've obviously forgotten how to end these videos as well. <laughs> So if you would, yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see some uh, stuff on the Toyota. My, so my dad had a little Toyota like this uh, when I was a kid. It was actually the first vehicle I ever learned to drive stick on. He had a gray one. Um, so when we found this one with a plow, and this one has four-wheel drive, his did not. Uh, bought this. I did used to have a uh, GMC Sierra with a plow on it. There's probably some old videos somewhere. I don't remember where those are either. I'm overdoing the whole, uh, I haven't been around here for a while, so I don't remember anything kind of thing. But uh, yeah, if you want to see some videos on the on the plow, I did replace some hydraulic lines. Oh, there it is. Some hydraulic lines, replaced fluid. Uh, I do have some more troubleshooting to do on it once I get the new fill plug. And uh, we'll go from there. If you want to see that, if you want to see some plowing. If you want to see me stacking some snow up with the tractor, hopefully this winter, uh, so the kids have something they can uh, sled down, or uh, yeah, any any of those kind of things. As I said earlier in the video, um, my channel is kind of just whatever I am interested in, think is kind of neat. So uh, yeah, if you want to see something more, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, like and share and, and do all that fun stuff so maybe I can get a few views on this one. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions on the tractor, I believe I also said that earlier, but uh, feel free to drop those below, and I will do my best to answer them in comments as I can. I also already told you that I don't really know a whole lot about tractors. I know just what I was told about this one, and from my time running around the yard and getting to know it a little bit. So, anyway, I'm going to cut it out here now because... I've obviously drugged this on way too long. You don't even want to know how long this clip is before I start my edit. So thanks for sticking around. And uh, yeah, if you want to see any videos on this, I'm hoping that having some more property will give me some excuses to do some different kind of videos. So uh, I've been neglecting this channel and neglecting my enjoyment of making videos. And um, I'm going to try to remedy that. See you.